Welcome back. In the previous episode, we have installed the Microsoft Calendar Events Provider to retrieve a set of events from the Microsoft Graph API within a specific month, from the beginning of the month till the end of it. We have learned how to acquire the access token async after the uh, whenever we needed to access any secure data from the remote API after the user logged in with uh, his Microsoft account, whether in a single tenant or multi-tenant. Now we will move to the second step. The function is ready called get events in month, I think. We will use it to get all the events within a specified month when the user choose a month. Then we will show them, uh, add the, the corresponding events to the corresponding days for example we bring all the events of january 2017 then we iterate over day by day and check if the monday has any events within that list added to here if tuesday wednesday etc so let's right now start the implementation okay i think this one should be services yes looks like this ah, it's good i have not stopped here yes this is great now before i go to the calendar uh, component i will go to the program.cs and i will register the services the server we have the service we just created in the emergency injection container add scoped i calendar events provider microsoft calendar events Add the namespace. Okay, great. Now we can move to the calendar.razor. Let's inject the service. Inject I calendar events provider events provider. We should import it here. Let's go to the imports.razor and add the dot services namespace great okay awesome now every time the user selects a year or selects a month we render the calendar and we have to sync the events for the selected month so i will create a separated function here i'll call it async task sync events from external provider to calendar. I prefer not to do it here while we are rendering the calendar and make it in a separate function. So in this way, this function is only responsible to render the UI, create this component, and this function is responsible for syncing process. So now I will fetch the events for the month. Our events equals the weight uh, events provider dot get events in month async year month like that. Then we should iterate over the days day days like that. Now, as you know, there is some empty days like the days are existing here. For example, those have that doesn't have a specific date so we will make a check if the day dot is empty then continue okay now i will try to get all the events from this list that actually existing within uh, each day within the iteration so i will say events and day equals to events dot where E, e dot start date is less or equals to day dot date so the start date should be within or before the date of the day and end date should be 
bigger or equal to day dot date because in Microsoft Graph some events for example starts from uh, 13 to 15 so it's one event but it starts in Wednesday and it continues when the, within Thursday and Friday so this the same event is existing in three days so in this case this is the filter you should use to get the events for a specific day now if events in day dot any which means contains some elements or you can use the dot count equals not equals to zero I want to add this day this events to the day dot events list dot add range events in day and uh, instead of checking if the events is null I prefer here I have added this code events equals to new list calendar event so it's always initialized and it's not null now the code is ready and it's just working fine let's call it here async task async task and after we render the calendar I will call await sync events from external copy it paste it here and now we are ready to go let's try to build the project and run it now refresh okay I'm already signed in I will choose 2020 so oops I directly get an error click on F12 value cannot be null within calendar the tracer 149 okay calendar the tracer 100 49 day dot date events okay events is null so I will go to the services Microsoft calendar events provider to make sure what's going on here so if return null access token okay if the access token is valid the request should be valid so what is the issue here Let's check the access token, access token request, this is the read write, try get token, if token, ah sorry, if token not equals to null, okay, yeah, let's refresh that, and choose 2020, okay, Nothing happened. I don't have any events within 2020 January. I will go to May of 2020. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I have Microsoft Build 2020 being filled. Now I will go to my calendar to make sure it's working fine. Let's go to mail. Uh, sorry, not mail. Calendar. I will go to where is May and here we go from 19 to 21 we have Microsoft build 2020 so there is a little issue here in fetching and fetching the date within the calendar the tracer here because the first uh, 19 should be included so let me go and make sure that just working events in day e dot start day less or equals to day dot date yeah I will type here dot date so I don't compare the hours because maybe the hours is bigger than this one and I'll use the date okay run it again Ok, 
اوكي ثاني جانيوري اوكي 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 مي اها هير وي جو رايت ناو اي هاف مايكروسوفت بيلد وذن 1920 اند 21 بوت وي هاف ان ايشو وذ ذا تو اه يس يس ذاتس فاين بيكوز ات ستارتس ات 6 بي ام اند ات اندز ات 6 بي ام سو ان ذس كيس يا اتس ذس وان از ترو Now I will try to add another event in 2019 from the Microsoft Calendar application. I will call it going to the mountain. Not all the day. It will start at 10 p.m. for example to 2 p.m. Click save. So Right now, this one will be synced to the Microsoft graph as well. From here, now I will wait a little bit just to make sure it's synced. I'll check my phone. Okay, it has been synced successfully. Okay, now I've refreshed the page. Let's go back to 2020. We'll click on May. We haven't added any indicator to the UI, which is yeah good because the syncing should be happening in the background. And as you can see here, we have going to mountain directly being synced to the Microsoft graph. And every time the user refreshes this page, it will show the new event added here, which is just awesome, right? I click here, click here. Yeah, that's just perfect. I liked it too much. <laughs> Hope you too. Uh, till the moment, if you have any questions for what we have done, it's somehow complicated. Somehow, for for if you are a beginner and new to .NET in general, yeah, it's going to be a little complicated for you. But if you are practicing more and more, and if you are going to the Microsoft documentation, reading more about the Microsoft graph, and checking how you can send the requests with HTTP client, I have done things here I haven't used anything I have used just the pure HTTP client library and requests with uh, Newton's of the JSON so it's become easier for you to understand and this logic here if you are a beginner it's going to be very good for you to learn how you can handle things in real world so now in the next video which is the last operation we have to do in our application whenever we add an event within the application it should be added and pushed to the microsoft graph ui so we can see it back here in the calendar because now we have added this event here and we saw it in my in our calendar now we will do the opposite so thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions directly post them in the comment section below i'll try to respond as soon as i can thank you